So what you were saying, man? I was saying you need a real man. Mm -hmm. The problem is with these women out here, they get tangled up and caught up with these little boys. They're marrying little boys. Right. They're, mar they're marrying a, a man and not a husband. Mm -hmm. It's different from being a man and being a husband. Mm -hmm. um, it's one thing looking good, smelling good, right. you know, having money, um, being smart and having good breath. You know? <laughs> but yeah. at the same time, do you love God? Right. And if you really love God, you're going to really live a godly life. Right. You're not going to face a godly life. Right. You're not going to put on a godly life just for the people. Right. You're going to really live it. And you have some people, some pastors, that's not even living a godly life, but proclaiming a godly life in front of people. Right. You have uh, some, some people that want to put on a facade. But you don't want to hook up with a facade. You want to hook up with somebody that's really who they say they are, right. that really love God, that really, if they love God, first of all, they're going to know how to love you. If they don't love God, they're not going to know how to love you. Mm -hmm. they got, they're not going to know how to treat you. And if they're not a husband, he said he who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. So listen, the husband, because he's not just a man, he's a husband. He may not have really reached his full potential yet because his full potential is locked in your favor. Mm -hmm. So he may not be everything he could be just yet. He may have a little something going on for himself, but he ain't all that God has called him to be yet mm -hmm. because he's not a husband yet. Yeah. And until he becomes a husband and he finds a wife, and then he unlocks that favor within her, then them two together can be all that God has called them to be. I'm not saying you can't be who God has called you to be being single. But what I'm saying is two is better than one. Mm -hmm. One put a thousand is right. Two put ten thousand is right. You, unity is power. You definitely don't want to hook up with somebody that's jealous of you, that's hating on you. <laughs> that would they. Blocking you because you have a lot of guys just like that. I know they, they, they act like I, just feel, I feel like me. I mean, mm -hmm. that's why I say I feel like I'm not built like everybody because I'm just like me personally. The person I'm with, I'm going hard for them, like I'm about to like really mm -hmm. support you. Mm -hmm. And I just feel like and I you can't, deserve the same, right? I can't be with a dude that's just hating on me, like that don't want to see me come up. Don't I don't see like to that. See, jealous of you. First of all, I got to question it. First of all, you want to be a female? Right. You want to be a woman? Right. Why are you hating on a Why is a, a man hating on a woman? Right. That, 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 that's, first of all, that's completely out of line. And sound gay. Gay. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's, like that's, that's weird to me. Yeah. To really, literally be hating. You have some type of. And I'm not even the type of female that just want to be like, ooh, I want this. Like, you know, like social media right now, for instance, they be saying people want a lot of followers and stuff. I'm not even that type of person. Like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I just feel like, I don't know. Well, baby, people going to follow you as you follow Christ. Right. A lot of people follow. I know, you. like, people be saying people be wanting clout and stuff. Like, I'm, I don't even consider myself that type of person. Like, mm -hmm. like <laughs> I would... I think something like, I don't know, we probably think that because I post people's songs and then mm -hmm. tag a minute or something, but that's mm -hmm. not me trying to get clout off of them. I'm just, you people, people ask me all the time, like, who that is you listening to? So I'm like, I'm putting their names you in the tag. I'm not trying to get clout, clout off of them. You know what I mean? You're a good supporter. I don't know. That's what you are. You're a supporter. Why not support? But the thing is, when you support people, do they support you? That's the right. question. Right. So while you supporting them, are they supporting you? Or you're not I got people them? in my life that, that I feel like they don't support me, mm -hmm. and I be supporting them. Well, why I, they want support from you if they don't support? I, I, I don't get it because that right there. Now you first of all you gotta do it without a motive, right? If you just doing it. Oh, you knew they had cabinets out here. Yeah. yeah. This is my first time. That's crazy. Yeah, I got, I got a new hiding spot. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I'm just saying, I I want you and your sisters. To be happy, I want y'all to be successful. I want um, y'all to have the best life or whatever. I want y'all to just go all out and go hard for God. Be in love with God more than anything. Be in love with God. I can't God stand a, more I know everybody ain't nobody perfect. I mean, but I can't stand when you know people man. be like, they this and they that mm -hmm. to the people. 
Mm-hmm. But then behind closed doors, they really not. Like, right. for instance, being celibate. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. I'm celibate. <laughs> right. Like, ain't no lie or nothing. I'm, I'm not just saying that just because. But I, I feel like. I just want to ask you how. To help them be celibate, like you can't help nobody be celibate. It's just mm-hmm. something you gotta wanna do on your own. Right. Like you can't teach thing. nobody to be celibate. Mm-hmm. It's just something you gotta feel like, man. I just wanna be celibate. Like, but there's some people that celibate and they're not even Christians. Right. They just decide to be celibate. I don't think they're celibate. I think they ask. Asking. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Okay, well. It's a difference. Okay. So well, you have some. They probably just, just don't. It's you're not having sex. Yeah. Basically. Mm-hmm. So it ain't just a religious thing. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you know, it's not. You don't. Some people doing it because they just want to do that. Sometimes but, people just doing it because they don't have nobody to do it with. Exactly, because they're single and they just yeah. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So you're doing it because first of all, your body is the temple and you're honoring God, right? So mm-hmm. you're like, first of all, I'm honoring God. You have a baby. Mm-hmm. You know, you've been through that. That like whatever you moved out when you was 18. You've been telling me that. Since, since she was in sixth grade, and I make 18, I'm moving out, you did. And I believe that life taught you a lesson. And, you know, a lot of people need to hear your testimony. You know, it ain't just like, oh, I'm celibate now. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. It was a process and everything. And you, not, and, you know, you don't ever want to bash people for not being celibate. I just, I'm not bashing nobody for not being celibate, but I hate when people, mm-hmm. like, try to say they're celibate and they're not. And they know they're not. Mm-hmm. That, that make me mad. Why even bring a conversation up? Don't even talk about right. it. Right. Just, <laughs> yeah. just be like, <laughs> yay. Yeah. Mm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <That's good. laughs> you don't got to put yourself out there like that. Like, I ain't celibate. But still, yeah. don't be trying to act like something you're not. So why you decided to become celibate? Because, uh, D. Mm-hmm. Uh, a long time ago, mm-hmm. when I had just be- moved back in with y'all, mm-hmm. after I broke up with uh, David, mm-hmm. I uh, seen a video of him, mm-hmm. and he was talking about, uh, first it was making good in Divine Franklin, mm-hmm. and then he was on the whatever, and he was saying how when he became celibate, how God started opening a lot of, a lot of doors and stuff for him. Mm-hmm. And so I was just like, dang, that's crazy. Mm-hmm. I was looking at it like, dang, a dude celibate? Mm-hmm. Like, you don't see that. Mm-hmm. You don't see too many people like that, but I don't know. He just helped me. Mm-hmm. He just helped me be celibate or whatever. Mm-hmm. And I just felt like, dang, if he could do it, I could do it. Right, right. And especially, I'm single now, too. <laughs> like, I'm not even with my baby daddy no more, so I can really do it. Right. And right. so, I mean, I have talked to guys, but yeah, I'm just like, yeah, it's not the hard. Ball it's ball not ball. an easy thing, mm-hmm. but... I can say that God has opened a lot of doors. I can say that I got closer with God. Like, mm-hmm. we got a closer, closer relationship mm-hmm. because I've been celibate. Back in church. Right. Doing Bible study and Sunday service. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. But, yeah, he inspired me. That's and And uh, Megan and Divine Franklin. They're a beautiful couple. They really inspired me because I'm like, to see them do it and then to see that they're married now, mm-hmm. I know people try, like, try to say that they hypocrites and stuff, but I really think, I believe them. I really think that they really, like, held out until they got married. Right. And I, I feel like they didn't uh, wait a long time to get married, too, because they they couldn't wait. You know, they couldn't hold out. Right, right. So I feel like, man, they ain't just wait two, three years before they got married. I know everybody probably asking, like, why, why are you still single? Why is she, why, why, why is she, you know, she, she beautiful, whatever, and I know sometimes you like, well, good God or whatever, but honestly, I you know I see a lot of guys be, you know, even at church and stuff, they be coming in. <laughs> <laughs> so, or evidently it's something that they don't have that you're, you know. It's not something ahead. that they don't have because they be having some cute, not at church, but. <laughs> <You're so funny. laughs> Maybe there are some cute dudes that be trying to talk to me, mm-hmm. but it's just, I don't know. I don't, I, I ask God all the time. Mm-hmm. I was just in the shower the other day. I was like, oh, like, what do you want me to do? If you want me to wait, I'll wait. Like, if you want me to wait until somebody come and pursue me, I'll wait. Mm-hmm. But I just be like, or do you want me to just go out? But when they Should I go out more? When they do pursue you. Mm-hmm. And when they do, just because they pursue you, don't mean... You know what I'm saying? That, that's the fit. I don't know why 
job just. But how will you know if you don't go out? Go out or if you don't really. I know. Maybe I need to start going out. <laughs> but even when I do go out and people be trying to talk to me, I just curve them. And I don't know why. Uh -huh. I probably curve it's my gonna husband. Be that one. It's going to be that one. Because I guess why I ain't going to say everybody was in my face too. Ooh, I, uh, I used to be mean. but uh, I know. Yeah. I be mean to the cute ones too though. Yeah. I just, just because you cute don't mean, <laughs> first of all, you. I don't know, bro. I don't know. Man, baby, God got you. God, baby, God is protecting you. Right. And then saving you for someone that's so special. Because sometimes we think somebody is special, but God be like, that is that ain't not the one. it. <laughs> you think they're the one, they ain't think, the one. Yeah, you, or, you know, or it's taking so long for this to happen, man. Because I'll be like, I've been celibate for three years, God, I see you. Like, I'm honoring you. When you gonna, mm -hmm. you gonna make mm -hmm. something shake? I ain't like, Oh, oh! I want a husband. I want a husband. Yeah. But I am getting older. I still want to have more kids. Like yeah. I be thinking about all of that stuff. Yeah. So I don't know. How many more grandkids you giving me? Just two more. Just two more. <laughs> <laughs> but mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I will tell the women at my church. I will tell the um the single women. Just because a man pursue you and say God told me. A lot of dudes told me that they think I'm their wife or God told them. But God didn't tell, tell me the same that. thing. <laughs> God gonna confirm it with both of y'all. Exactly. How many told you that? Uh, ooh. Ooh. A whole like four. Four. Like four of them. The ones that I actually had a serious, you know, talk with. They be like, oh God. Four of them within this the uh, this three years. Four, mm -hmm. four people, four dudes, four dudes. Say straight up. No, I'm lying. Five, five, five dudes, and they said, "T, God said you're my wife." And what you say? I laughed. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd be like, "Well, God ain't tell me that. Uh, he ain't confirming to me yet." I had one dude be like. Oh, God, God told me he told you yet? And I'd be like, nah, he didn't tell me yet. <laughs> like, no. I don't know. You just play with their feelings? No, I don't play with nobody's feelings. I don't like that because I don't want nobody to play with my feelings. Okay, so for them, so what, like, just out the blue, they just come and say, God told me. You not know, out the like, blue. Like, That's what I'm saying. It'll be a, about, like, it's like we talking. Uh -huh. And then, not like talking, I'm talking about like, not like in a relationship, but dating, you know? Uh -huh, yeah. And they'll come and be like, oh, God told me you was the one. Uh -huh. And I'll be like, God didn't tell me that. <laughs> he didn't. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. But I ain't gonna lie. It was one of them that I was like, God, maybe this is the one, you know? Yeah. Cute. Smell good. Look good. Everything good. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. We don't know about everything. Well, to me, it was everything. Everything was good. But, and I asked God, and I had a dream. And I know that's how God speaks to me in dreams. And they know you were celibate. Mm-hmm. And they was, so basically, they know you were celibate. And they said, T, God told me you my wife. They could have been saying that, thinking, because I, to, cause I told you God said mm -hmm. you about to give him that booty. Right, that's true. A lot of dudes probably do think like that. If I just, cause you're a church girl, mm -hmm. they think all they think church, church girls, girls stupid. Yeah, they just want, or they just want to. Uh, her husband so bad. Yeah, yeah. So they probably just running game, game, knowing God ain't never said it. Right. You see what I'm saying? Right. But you have that discernment in you, mm -hmm. and so God said, Nah. No matter how good they look and look like they had it going on, what they was driving, what they was wearing, how they smell, what it was working, look, and they in church too. Mm -hmm. So I was like, God, is he the one? Yeah. <laughs> I'll take them. <laughs> but then, but then yeah. And then I don't. Then I started as we was talking. Mm -hmm. Just like, nah, he can't be the one. Yeah. I can't. Like, the truth, truth came out. Yeah. Up. You don't really love God like you said you exactly. love God. Yeah. Not only that, just his personality. Like, mm -hmm. I don't like a dude that I can run over. Like, I don't know. And that's how it was with him. Like, I feel like when you're a dude, you're supposed to wear the pants. It's too many 
people that I know personally that's married, wearing the woman is wearing the pants in a relationship, and Ooh. I don't want to be like that. Well, guess what? Nadia, you know that. <laughs> I know, yeah. Not I, can't, I can't even borrow the pants. No, but I know a lot of people. Me and Lee was just talking about, what's that, Nee? We was just talking about that. Mm -hmm. How many people, uh, how many girls wearing the pants in their uh, they love marriage? I can't stand. I'm like, uh-uh. I don't that's know nobody like that. That's a turn-off. That is a turn-off. Like, so, ooh, like, I'm like, you need, to, you, you need to be in control, but you're not, so you ain't the one for me. Mm -hmm. God. So I, you want a man that's going to take control? Yes. But, but you're not going to take control. Not, not yet. Yeah. Still that you have liberty, right? Yeah, right. You want to be of course. Me. But I want him to be in control. He's the head. Mm -hmm. I want to be able to submit to him. No one let he me submit to God. Right, right. You and I don't want him to just him. run over you. Yeah, because we don't believe that over here. <laughs> when yeah. you submit, you're going to go. <laughs> right, right. You have to and a lot of dudes him. expect for you to submit them, submit to them, and they not even submitting to God. Like, nah. Nah. like, nah. Nah. I know a lot of dudes be like that. As long as I know that you are a praying man, come on. You make it both Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I know, like, hey, man. Yeah. You praying, you seeking God for direction for your family. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But hey, you're not even talking to God. Right. But you want to lead me. You want me to submit to you. Nah. Right. Now you, the blind lead the blind. You follow me, you little <laughs> bitch. Well, right. First of all, I see better than you. Right. I talk to God more than you talk exactly. to God. No, uh-uh. You, partner, you better be talking to God. And that's what I pray for, like, when, like in my singleness, mm -hmm. I pray that I have that type of husband. Mm -hmm. I pray that he have a relationship with God. Like, I pray to, I have a, in my notes right now, mm -hmm. a whole stuff, a whole bunch of stuff to pray for. For like for my husband already, husband already, now. yes. That's good. That's good. Definitely need to bring that and teach that too to the single woman at the church. Be praying for your husband now, so, when so I don't have to deal with it when I'm married. Huh? Yeah, there's some things you gonna still deal with when he talk. When he talk, because I know, perfect. I know. You're not perfect. I know. He's not gonna be perfect. But, but stuff that thing. you shouldn't deal with in in a marriage. That's yeah, what I'm talking about. Yeah. Now, yes. My boy, get it out. Yes, like get lust the and stuff. Out, get the lust out. Get all yes. that out right now. Because the, the lust is going to be fully over here. Right. You're going to have to just, just have me. over me. Okay. <laughs> and all the lust is here. Right. And that's what you want. You want your husband to lust only after you. I don't want to be married and my husband eyes wandering, want. looking at other people booty. I'm going to smack him. Won't you? <laughs> he said, yeah. won't you? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Oh, Lord. I just can't deal with that. I can't. I cannot. That's so disrespectful. That is so disrespectful. That's like a, a woman. Eyes wandering with a That's just so disrespectful. You would, how, how does what a dude feel? Right. So another dude walk in, and your, your girl just looking like, man, that's so right. disrespectful. You better have some self control. Don't you have that? That's crazy. You gonna see some beautiful women, and she, and, and, and she gonna see some handsome men, but you gotta know. But it's just a level of respect. That's right. That's right. Cause I know I'm not the the beautifulest woman in the world, mm -hmm. and I know I'm not the finest. I'm not the coldest. Right. But, but you gonna you gonna treat me like I no, am. You gonna treat me as such. And to them. To that right. It's gonna be the most beautiful. And I feel like I don't want nobody that. That's like, let me see how to put it. Like, I don't want nobody to think I'm cold, but then see other people and then be like, I thought I had the coldest thing, but let me yeah, go to the next cold Right. Mm -mm. That's why it's like, that's a little boy. That's not a man. That's not a husband. He ain't ready yet. That's what I'm saying. Like, what if you were, what if you were ready? Like, well, you what, God, 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 God's you and a person time to be together is perfect in heaven. God's time is perfect. God's time is perfect. Is God's time is better than our time. God knows you. So God gonna, gonna have you waiting for ten years on somebody to be a husband? For some people, but not for you. 
Good. Like, well, not you. Good night. <laughs> I ain't gonna say you good night, guys. Please don't make me wait longer. <laughs> don't do my dog. <laughs> no, but I'm just saying, like, I don't know. Your, I just feel like your time is coming. And but if he if he don't want to get it together, please bring somebody else to me. And go on, that's and go so on. cool. Because there's a ram in the bush. God always have a backup plan. If the first plan don't work out. God always have another plan. See, when it didn't work out with, with, with uh, Saul, mm -hmm. baby, yeah, Saul, David. they say Saul was fine, baby, Saul was king. Mm -hmm. But baby, Saul thought that he can lie to God, he can disobey God. God said, you playing with me, but I got a whole backup plan. That you don't even know about. That you don't even know. I got a ram in the book. I got somebody. Ooh, I like that. That's fire. <laughs> baby, God was raising up David. Hmm. Why Saul playing games? Good. Lord. Go ahead, Saul. Keep playing mm -hmm. the games, Saul. What's the old? Because God going to raise up David. Mm-hmm. That's right. That's how Damn, that that's fire. I like you that. You better believe it. You better believe that. That's what I've been praying for, though. Mm -hmm. I'm like, God, if my husband, if you had somebody out there, mm -hmm. and it's like, okay, this person is ordained for her, mm -hmm. and they playing games, please mm -hmm. give me somebody else. Oh, he will. Please, because I, I don't got time for it. I promise you will. And they'll be looking back and saying, dang, I have, I, I have good things. Because hmm. he who finds a wife finds a good thing. They want they wind up with a bad thing because they won't play games. Mm -hmm. They think they bad. Mm -hmm. Girl going straight dog or going? Dog mouth. Talk him out. Let me shut up. Yeah. But you know what? You got to just wait on God and let God do what he's going to do. And be glad that he's moving the counterfeits out of your life. Mm -hmm. Be glad about that. Because I remember at one time, baby, you just you told me you was going to marry a certain person. You said, God. I, you said, God told you. You yeah. not say that. You told me. You No, no, I'm lying. I never said God. I'm lying. I'm saying, I don't you, lie on God you know, like I'm that. Lying. You said God told you it wasn't. But you told God, mm-mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, nah, that's right. I say that. Yes. No, I mean, no, no, we ain't going. Yeah, I was this like, God, I'm going to make this be the one. <laughs> I ain't want to start over. And that's the problem with us. We, Young. yeah, we don't like starting over. People, period. Some old people don't want to It's like once you invested so much time in somebody, you feel like, I don't want to start over with nobody else. I want to make this work. All this time I invested, I ain't about to let this go to waste. For real. But shoot, I'd rather let six bon years go to waste than 24 more years. Bump that, bump that. Peace, I'm moving on. I'm out of, I'm out of, man, look. I am, I refuse, come on now. Like, you gotta refuse you, to be unhappy. Right. You don't want to just hook up. And I know and if I would have got married, miserable. Ooh, I would have been miserable in that marriage. Ooh, and then I would have been Lord. having a divorce. And that's no, something I don't want to do. Right. I do not want to have a divorce. I want to make it worse. Like, we don't teach divorce around here. I be feeling so bad when people say they're having a divorce. I be like, oh my God. Some people, you know. I know some friends. They be telling me, oh, we about to get a divorce. I'm like, oh, man. I hate hearing that. I hate hearing that word. But think about it. It was some that you was like, man, everybody getting married. I know. And it, the, the, can I say it, mama? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> you said nothing you supposed to say. You, the, <laughs> <laughs> the you thoughts be getting married before me. I'm like, God, really? Mm. Maybe God wanted them to hurry up and get married so they don't be out your bed like that or something. Girl, they might be a thought still why they married. Right. The thoughts be getting married. Thoughts before can't be delivered. They get married. Marriage don't make you deliver. But you can still be a thought. That's what I'm telling you. You can get with a whole monger and marry a whole monger. He still can be a whole monger when he say I do. And that's what I'm not dealing with. Exactly. I'm not. Exactly. We don't do that on here. I'm not. Not at all. Not I don't care all. how much money you got. I don't care who you is. You play with me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's gonna be over for you. <laughs> you childish, Baba. <laughs> we sure don't. We gonna cut up. So me and my mama. Oh, we're gonna cut up. So me and my mama. About that, like straight jumping.
But yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I told him. I said, me and my mama gonna jump you when she get here. <laughs> I told him that. He could tell you. Oh yeah, baby. I said we gonna we gonna stump you. I ain't say my daddy. I say my mama. I said my mama get here. We gonna stump you. We gonna jump you. And then the police got you. But meet me there. So yeah. yeah, you was ready, baby. I was ready too. I knew you was gonna have my back. That's right. And that night is so crazy because I was screaming for your name and you wasn't even there. Like I was I was opening those saying, Mama crying. No, but that, that's, that's so crazy. The, no, what's so crazy is I heard you screaming from me. That's crazy. And I thought I was tripping. I woke up out of my sleep saying, I promise, I was telling your daddy. Why, why would I go out the door? This, I was like opening it, I was like, Mama. And he was like, I'm like, Mama. Wow, screaming crazy. for my mama. That's I ain't say call the police or nothing. I say I was screaming your because yeah, you know I'm a firm warrior and a soldier. I thought I was gonna die that night, boy. I know how to put the I thought I was gonna die or I was gonna be in jail for yeah. killing. I don't even bring me back there. I know. Yeah, I don't know. My about heart that. has been healed. So girl, don't yeah. bring me back there. Imagine that situation. To that situation too. But um just know that God got you. Everything, every 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 purpose, every plan, every everything that God has ordained for your life. I remember uh, Prophet's uh, flag prophesied to me. She was like, "Your husband gonna be so in love with you, he gonna feel like he dreaming." That's remember right, that? You big girl, you cold girl. <laughs> girl, why you? And cold? it ain't even just the look. And you love God. Yes, and it, it ain't even about the looks or nothing. Girl, it's you just, cold. 